let us see how routing works in react for routing to work you need to install react router so open your command prompt navigate to your project folder and type npm install react router and save it inside your package json as dev dependency hit enter so we now have installed react router package here right here okay and um, let's keep this app as it is and let's create a new routing app save it as routing app.jsx replace app with routing app save it and let's test if it's working fine so type in npm run WP watch script to run webpack in watch mode so it has bundled the application let's refresh yeah routing app okay routing basically is based on different URL paths like let's say slash home or slash products or slash contact based on the URL path the application navigates to respective component there's a different components that are tied up with each of these paths so let's see how it works in react first off you need to import the following components from react router that we have installed by default the path would be a single slash and for this we want to load a component called let's say home which we will implement in a bit and then when user navigates to let's say slash products we want to display the component called products this is an attribute for the router called history and it takes in a hash history value which basically generates 
random alphanumeric number to keep track of history when we when the user navigates back and forward in the browser okay let's go ahead and create these two components Same way, let's create the product page. Save it. Save. And since we are using home and products, let's import it. Save it. Make sure there are no errors. Open your browser. Refresh. So there it is. By default, the path would be slash, and this is the random value that gets generated using hash history. Now let's try giving products here which is this value and should take us to products page hit enter there you go so it takes us to products page and if you go back it goes back to the home page based on this value if you come forward again it takes us to the product page all right instead of typing in home and products here in the address bar let's give the user an option like a href on click of which it should navigate to the respective paths home or product okay and for that we need to wrap the entire thing in a container and on top we need to give the navigation URL hrefs and below that we need to display the respective component like home or products.